Welcome back guys. We have a fun one today. Check this out. I've got the Pico Primer Kit and this is well, it's quite incredible actually. So I guess the best way other than putting an overview is this is a Raspberry Pi Pico starter kit. And at the time of this video, I believe it was about 34 US dollars, which is why I immediately accepted it. You get a Raspberry Pi Pico, an expansion board, uh, 6 axis IMU, the MPU 6050, which is a great little IMU, DHT11, everybody loves to hate on it, but it works, a relay, a servo, a slide potentiometer, a serial Wi-Fi adapter, uh, the WS2812, I forget what that is right offhand, I'll remember in a minute, and the ultrasonic sensor, as well as cables. Like, with the Raspberry Pi Pico, I don't think, I think you'd be hard pressed to make this for the price they're selling it for. Speaking of making this, I'm actually trying my hand at making some breakouts in Altium Designer and admittedly I'm brand new at it, but this program seems to be the industry standard uh, in professional PCB and design and I'm having pretty good luck with it so far, but I have lots to learn. I'll put the link down below. Check it out to try Altium for yourself and let me know what you think. So in the kit, super well packaged. Uh, this is the first time I'm seeing it too. We've got some cabling. We have all of our breakout boards here, our slide potentiometer, the the uh, Wi-Fi module and BLE module, which is the, uh, here we go. What have we got? The ESP12S, so basically an ESP module on a breakout. So you're getting another microcontroller and this a very cool looking breakout board with every all the IO broken out and the Raspberry Pi Pico. Like realistically, how far wrong can you go for if this is even if they up the price a little bit more? I think it's quite reasonable for a starter kit and a microcontroller that we can use circuit python micro python and even machine learning the rp2040 uh i'm hoping to do some machine learning on mine and now while i have another one the uh, oled display uh really cool a piezo buzzer on board buttons on board leds on board on the breakout itself and then the connections to break it out which is a pretty cool little board well labeled they as a little starter kit, how far wrong could you go? What do you guys think? Put a comment down below. Let me know what you think. And we have our a nice little, looks like a 10 amp relay. I'm assuming it was probably labeled. Yes, 10 amp. And then our servo uh, arms and horns. And then ultrasonic distance sensor, which is an awesome little piece of kit. These SRO4s uh, are just absolutely wonderful uh, with the ping library or whatever. I've used these with Arduino projects numerous times here in the past and uh, it's a solid little ultrasonic distancing sensor. If you want to uh, have a robot measure your distance to things or if you want to measure the level of water in a cistern like a sump pump hole or whatever, this will do it. Pretty cool. So I'm, I'm excited to give this a go and maybe we'll see if we can get some basic code on this here. All right like five minutes i went to their their demo page the link for the kit and then i went to their github i just downloaded all their examples i copied the files over um, i'll stop and show that here and done we're up and going. So this is an ADC example. So let's just see if we can bias it high. That's the pin there. And sure enough, we can float it up towards the 3.3 volt level through my body there. But uh, that's it. We're up and rolling color OLED in just mere moments. That is just wicked fast with MicroPython. I, I love it. That is super cool. And this is a clean little interface. You could make a little bezel set up and have this just be a control panel right on your wall and you have a turnkey project. This is why I accepted this thing. This just screams to me like a value deal. And 
I'm not being paid to say that. This is just the way I feel about this. And I think I think this is a screaming deal. And I think maybe uh, I might actually grab one <laughs> to have another one as a turnkey. I really like being able to get the RP2040, but let's, let's try another chunk of code. Okay, you saw it there. What, like 10 seconds to open the file and save it as main.py? And boom, we're rocking. TFT red, blue, green, and we have a functional TFT screen. Just that quick, that easy. It's just super simple. So I think I raved about this enough. Um, that That's right out of the box. We are ready to go. The LED, the, the WS, uh, the A12 that I couldn't seem to remember correctly. Uh, I think what we'll do is we'll set this up with uh, the ESP module and do a little weather forecast one and play with it a little bit. And I'll maybe post a follow-up video later, but oh yeah, there we go. I missed that. There is our LED strip. That is cool. WS2812 uh, RGB LED array. Super, super cool. Like. Yeah, I've, I've said enough. You guys post a comment down below. Let me know. Uh, let me know what you think of it. 34 bucks US right now. That may change in the future, but uh, today is today. And that's the day I'm playing with this. I'm excited to have another uh, Raspberry Pi Pico in the house. And uh, I like it. I like it a lot. I just, I think this will be, wouldn't this make a really cool little thermostat panel or something that you could just wall mount? It is got holes in the PCB and we have acoustic enunciation here. I think would like, I really think this would be a really neat little, uh, little panel. Anyway, uh, that's it. That's why I accepted it. That's why I showed it to you guys. Hope you enjoy. Oh yeah. Click a thumbs up on this video. If you like it, uh, if you like these projects, really, it helps, it helps people to see them. Click a thumbs up. Cheers.